thing to go. All right, welcome back. We've just finished initiative. Guck has spun the surprise round by charging forward. All right, I'm gonna swing at it. This sea hag. That's not good. Uh, that's gonna be a fourteen. That does just hit. Yes. Nice. All right, that's gonna be two my D eight. That is going to be 10 damage. What and then... Hefty hit. I'm going to action search this shit and hit her again. Oh yeah, that's it. That's a good 17. Yes. Four. Eight more damage. Alright. You're just putting some work in. She's, she's sitting around this cauldron and I just come in and slash. <laughs> <laughs> She gets over her surprise swiftly, uh, and happens to have rolled the best in the initiative order. Jesus. Um, so she throws back the, the cowl on her uh, robe, and then swings out with wicked claws. I, I just look back at you guys and go, Save me! <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, a mistake! <laughs> Alright, does a 16 hit you? No. Oh. Her claws clang uh, uselessly against your chainmail as you nah, fail to bad. find purchase. I got, I got <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, mom will raise the bitch. <laughs> Heyman, it is your turn. Alright, I'm going to uh, whip out my holy symbol. I'll whip it out. And cast myself a guiding bolt at uh, that motherfucking sea hag. <laughs> Ooh, that is not good. That is a 12. Ugh. I think yeah. you're missing. Yeah. 12. 12 a miss. Yeah, what a bummer. That yeah. was an expensive miss, my friend. That was an expensive miss. That's all right, I can miss again. You could use a hero opponent an nah. inspiration. Nah, we're good. I got this. Okay. We'll be Save it for something juicy. Rainy day, but. Next Rainy on day. the list is Guck. Roll okay. a wisdom save. Yeah. This one's not very good. That's 14. No, it's not so bad. The creature, good. not you're just this close to it. The creature is just hideous, and you can feel the fell dark energy swirling around I hate it. ugly people. <laughs> um, God gets long. But long you don't let it rattle exactly. you. <laughs> so you uh, you are fine. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's swing at her again. Oh, yeah. We're hitting her for... Four. Nice. I'm the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch. You look like John Madden, just so much worse, and just oh, yeah. people <laughs> everywhere. That, what? How just, did we, what? How under, did we get there? <laughs> under hair, I just have flowing black. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's a uh, that's my turn. All right, so from here on, just so I know, is inspiration points will be referred to as gold nuggets. Gold nuggets, okay. Does a seventeen hit you? No. Seventeen does not hit you. Okay. Uh, one of the uh, cultists who <laughs> swings back uh, and utilizes his uh, scimitar. He pulls it out and attacks you. The other one, realizing that kind of hard to hit. Uh, this gorgeous a, man that just came in is impossible to him. I get it. A divine bolt. Uh, roll a reflex save for me. I think that's what oh. it's called. Was that Dex? Yes. Yeah, 20. Jesus. <laughs> I'm here to play. <laughs> Guck came out ready today. Guck is just bobbing and weaving. The second one calls down a, a column of fell energy, and you're just like, Oh, he, he I'm looking leaves. back at you guys like, do something! <laughs> He's leaving like after images of just stink clouds behind him that they're <laughs> swinging at instead of Guck. Alright, that is their turn. Tink, it's your turn. Tink's turn? Alright, so how far away am I from these guys? Uh, about 45 feet. Okay, 45 feet. I'm going to use my bonus action to give my, uh, my little homunculus an additional action. And I am going to... I'm just going to sit back where I'm at and shoot at, I guess, the most damaged-looking hag. The sea hag. The sea hag. She's been shot. Okay, good. I'm going to take a shot at the sea hag. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that hits. Uh, with a... Nine, or 21. 
Yes. All right. So a D8. One damage. Hell yeah. Tell me that kills her. <laughs> it does not. Okay, and then my homunculus has to take its turn immediately after mine. I'll send it forward 15 feet in front of me. The additional action that I gave it, I will have it use its force blast. Okay. And it's, uh... she's going to have to make a... What is it? It's not wisdom. Let's see. Force blast. Her force strike is... Oh, it's going to be a 13, I think... In savings throw. Alrighty. So, uh, what kind of savings throw? You said int? Int. Okay, I think it actually makes that. And is your homunculus immune to the frightened condition? It is immune to exhaustion and poison. Right, roll a wisdom save. Okay. Woo! Take that. Uh, 19. Okay. Your uh, bird uh, refuses to quail before this <laughs> this creature. Cool. All right. Then, oh. yeah, I guess that's got to be... Well, I guess it, it also automatically takes the dodge action for its initial action, so it will dodge. Okay. So anything that attacks towards it, if I can see it, will be attacking at so disadvantage. It does pass its uh, intelligence save. What happens to it? Nothing? or It's just going to miss with the four strike. Okay. Yep. So it's unable to blast the, the creature with yep, the... and uh, I just to 30 feet on it. Uh, alrighty. Yeah, and I guess I will call it back another 15 feet back towards me. And, yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. Alright, Willow, it is your turn. <clears throat> I cast Starry Form. It's now canon that I'm, like, lifted in the air and have to do a little spin with it. Yeah, there's, like, a um, whole anime opening song going on. <laughs> She's doing, like, this changing scene. <laughs> and the constellation I pick... Yep. So I pick a constellation every time I, like, manifest this form. And I'm going to pick the archer constellation, which okay. lets me use a range spell as bonus action. So... I think... I don't think I roll to attack on that. Are you I... using Guiding Bolt like he did? No, it's just, it literally just says like range spell. Like it's just a random attack spell. It didn't so specify. You yeah, you it would still be a you two rolling an attack, but it's going to be the d20 plus your uh, spell casting modifier plus your proficiency. So it should be uh, d20 plus whiz plus two. Wait, I, I feel like the way you're wording this, you're saying that you can use a range spell as a bonus action instead of an action. Correct. Yeah, yeah My... so they choose a ranged spell to use them. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I thought it was just giving me like a No, I don't think spell. it's giving you just like a spell kind of thing. I'm, th I'm thinking like oh, well, you that... asked. Okay, well then it, can I use Moonbeam? Okay. No, that's not ranged. It's a ranged range spell, right? Yeah. So, I mean, yes. technically it's not on. Yeah. What, what's the spell that you're initially using? The circle or whatever? The uh, stars. The archer. Yeah, you would have to count out the It's called, it's called Starry Form. And then the archer, I, I probably have it up. Let's, so let's hand wave this for now and say that it entitles you to do anything that counts as a range attack, yeah. and we can okay. move forward and we okay. can figure it out. That's what I assume it is. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? So then this is, sorry, this is my weakness of like, I just need you to tell me what I need to roll for an attack. So you're going to roll I use D20 beam. plus wisdom plus, all right, wait, uh, moonbeam is a save. That's, moon what, I, that's is what I'm thinking. Okay, I think moonbeam is a save. So you I just. Don't. You just extend it out, and now there's a block of magic around yes. these creatures. So when it's their turn again, they roll a uh, yes, save. Constitution. They'll roll a con save. Okay. So you utilize your special ability to generate a spell at range, and uh, you now have the moonbeam uh, centered over the cultists okay. and the hand. Because I assume they starry point with the action. Yes, so I, I got the but now it's It like... does give you its own... Oh, spell it's own spell attack? Yeah, so essentially when you use it in every subsequent turn after you cast it, as your bonus action, you can use a ranged spell where you pull out a bow, hurling a luminous arrow that targets oh. one creature within 60 feet of you. There you go. All right. So you don't do anything this turn, but every subsequent turn on your bonus action, so you can shoot your arrow or do whatever okay. for your action, use your bonus action, you also shoot just a giant bright arrow at them made of magic. Okay, I'm doing the moonbeam, sorry. See, I can read. All right. <laughs> I thought it was a thing. Um, Alrighty. Uh, so what is the save? It's gonna be your it's, eight. No, this plus would whiz. be 
this would be a normal attack, and so I do have to roll now. So yes. the way that you would calculate that ranged spell attack too, you'd be, you'd be using your spell casting ability modifier, and I'm assuming yours is wisdom. So it's the same thing, wisdom. Yeah, so it'd be then... eight plus your proficiency Which plus your ability that modifier. Yeah. Yeah, the so that would be a 12 or a 13, I'm assuming, is what you're at. What is your wisdom at, your modifier? Two from a 15. Okay. So, yeah, so you're, it's going to be a 12. <laughs> it's going to be a 12. So every single turn, you'll be as a bonus action. They have to make a DC saving throw against the 12, and on a hit, you will do 1d8 plus your wisdom modifier. Okay. You just do damage. So the That's hag right. actually does make it, but the cultist, the first one, does not. Okay. Um. And the second one, unfortunately enough for him, does not. Mm-hmm. It's a D8 yep, plus a four plus two. Sorry, this is a lot of <laughs> adding things. Eight. So ten, ten. damage to both of them. So a, oh, does that apply to both? Mm-hmm. Unless you wanted to roll for both. That's up to you. I just assumed it was one die. Just they look horrifically wounded. Okay. But they are still standing. I like it. Let me finish. Just gotta shoot them with water. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the top of the order with the hag, and she is going to step out of the uh, aura of the, the moonbeam to the other side of uh, Guck. She's gonna swing at you with her claws. Does an 18 hit you? Ties me. Uh, tie, yeah, meter beat. Alright, she's going to do D claspin. <laughs> so her uh, her large, horrifyingly uh, huge claws uh, lands out, and they do ten damage. That's pretty easy, man. How much health you get? Down to sixteen. Good baby boy. Okay, and it is now, Eamon, your turn. Alright, I'm gonna use like 45 feet back. I'm gonna run 20 feet up and cast my... Oh, pull my holy water, sprinkle it, and cast Bless. <laughs> okay. And uh, you guys are blessed, blessed, blessed. Because I blessed three creatures. So. Alright, all three of you are blessed. And blessed be. I get... No, I don't have any more spell plus. I'm, spell. I'm good. Alrighty, so that's gonna move on to the next person in the order, Guck. You know, I'm swinging at that hag. Roll yourself a, a wisdom save. Ooh, five. You are. You get the frightened condition. What does that mean? It is. You're running away from them. Jester? Uh, just her, but I believe frightened isn't that. Bad. What did he need to be? Uh, an 11. Five plus four, what I have no wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage on ability checks and yep. attack rolls while the source of fear is within line of sight. And it can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So if you're right on it, you're good. Attacker? As long as you're close enough to her, which you are, yeah, you'll just be disadvantaged. And, but if she runs away from you, you can't get closer to her. Disadvantage on attack? Ability you know, checks mean? and attack rolls, so you're going to roll twice and make the worst one. Maybe We're hitting still. <laughs> oh, that's a 23. 17 was my worst roll, and I get a plus 6 to hit. Yep, 23 on hit. Alright. Come on, baby. 3 damage. <laughs> okay. Damn, I wanted that to be it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's looking a lot more bedraggled. But she's not quite down yet. What a word. But Dragon, the uh, two cultists. Uh, both of the cultists can't quite get out of the beam without provoking. One of them is able to come to the other side of you, uh, but the other one has to move around uh, that cultist to get out of uh, range of the moonbeam. Uh, roll and attack about the Yeah, I was going to say, I thought the moonbeam didn't. No, it's just every subsequent turn after she's going to be able to do that range spell instead right. of the moonbeam. Yeah, I didn't do the moonbeam because I ended up doing the range spell. All right. So, no so there, there, no, might, not, no, there might be one soon, but not this moment. Not this moment. <laughs> okay, so they are, so they are fully healthy again, then. No, they got hit. The ten damage they took was from me doing the range spell Our instead arrow. of the moonbeam. It's yeah. like a, it's like a glowing arrow spell, basically. Okay. 
Okay, uh, but they do still uh, move up to attack. One of them is going to stay stationary, and it's not going to provoke an opportunity. Uh, 19. Oh. I still got my second win. We're good. As long as he doesn't do 16 damage. Right? Three damage. Uh, yeah. He's got uh, Second one is a, <laughs> is a 12. 12 to hit? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were telling me he was doing 12 damage. I was like, never mind, they're beefy boys. <laughs> no, they, they are incapable of doing 12 damage, but they can still keep chipping away. What's your health That's going to bring us up to Tink. I still got my second win, which will give me one, my go? ten. Your go? Plus my Alrighty. Battery. That hag is going to take an arrow to the head. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, she's taking an arrow to the head with a dirty 20. Nine. That'll do it. 20. Some real damage this time, that one. You really let me down. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be. Wait, do I add my dex onto that as well for the damage? Yeah. Oh yeah. So the last one actually could have been three, and then this one would be a six. There. No late damage. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of that last two from the first one. But yeah, this one's gonna be six damage. Okay. Perfect. So that is uh, your turn. Do you still? Does your? I still have my my homunculus. He yep. takes his actions right after me, so I'm also getting him my bonus action. My homunculus is going to fly for 15 feet. And is she still up and running? She's still up and running. Well, yeah, he's going to try to shoot a four strike at her then. All right, and he said it's 13. Save, save. You said it's an in save on this in. part? Okay. Uh, four. Four? Yeah, so she's going to take 1d4, I think it is. At level two, it would be two, four, yeah. One. <laughs> okay. No lies. It's, it's your turn. Back to okay. me. Just for future reference, if you want me to like redo it, I can. But I feel like it would just be easier to proceed. But I found out apparently using wild shape is supposed to be a bonus action, not an action. Yes. So I should have actually cracked in using moonbeam and then the starry form, and instead I kind of did two bonus actions. But really, I fucked myself over because. It was lower damage. And now we I uh, already have it written down the amount of damage they would have taken, so okay. we can just say that. Yeah, uh, but future reference. They figured just so out you know, how to next time. not provoke an attack from yeah. this time. Okay. We can just move forward with that. But I appreciate you coming to me about that. <laughs> um, but now I will use the bonus section again of the luminous arrow. Yep. So it's, it's a well. DC 12 wisdom. Where you're shooting it at? The one I hit before. So you don't roll. You don't have to roll. Oh, what? He, he rolls oh, a DC. It's roll. like um, yeah, this is a bonus action, a luminous arrow that she gets to shoot after casting that ranger spell. Okay. Yeah, this is her bonus action. So. All right. So it does a thirteen. I believe it. Uh, yep. So that beats. So that saves. So you don't hit it with that arrow. But Got you still it. have an action. If you have yes. Use your action correct. Right. Yeah, a normal action. And that I will do. Now I'll do the moonbeam. So now we're all. Hell yeah. Woo! Now we everything. Moonbeam was a lot of fun in Baldur's Gate. Like I, I said, it's literally just a uh, what is ray of dawn. Yeah, I, the hammer of dawn. Mm -hmm. Hammer of dawn. Yeah. I just believe the when I looked smiting everyone. earlier, it's only five feet, so it would really only hit one person. Uh, so it's a five foot radius. I believe it says ten feet. So it's, in, it's actually like ten feet mm. total. It's five foot up. Five foot to the right, five foot down. So it's it's a little little Got square. You. It's not a big square. Okay. Um, well, I'll cast it generally at the person that's hit, though. Still, do I control? I feel like I kind of control it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. each round you can use a okay. use an action. And then that would be a Constitution saving throw for him. Okay. So I will say that the ultists take the damage. That is a pass this time, though. Okay, the so they would take half damage, which okay. is, it's 1d10 instead of 2, or 2d10 divided by you 2. You roll the 2d10s, and then you okay. divide yeah, them okay. up and divide by 2. Okay, perfect. 3. So, Lower. 2 and a half. <laughs> round yeah, so down on the time. You always yeah. round down on the damage. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. 2. Okay, so it takes 2, and... Alright, everybody's looking pretty ragged at this point. Top of the order. <laughs> she like boggles her eye out at you and like just stares you down and like, spit in her face. <laughs> 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 
plus one d12. Eight. You can add plus four if you roll. My bless. Yeah. What do I roll d4? Four. Ten. He claps to the ground. <laughs> Knew I should have spit in the face more. <laughs> That'll be your last regret, your uh, main regret of life. I didn't spit in her face enough. Yeah, rough. Okay, uh, so that is her turn. Eamon, it is you, her turn. Alright, I'm up. going to. What's your health at? 13. You're so good. I'm gonna cantrip it's sacred flame. Zero. Oh, zero? Uh, dead? You're not dead, you are at zero health. You are incapacitated. What did she do to me? It's called Death Glare. It just kills me. It <laughs> drops you to zero health. You are you don't have to roll death saves, you're not dying, you are just incapacitated. What about my relentless endurance? That what is if that? I were to take down the zero, oh, I'd go back to one health. Is that a uh, your orc ability? It's a fighter thing. Mm. I believe technically somebody, that somebody. counts, so you're at one health. And still running. And still running. So you're at one health. All right. But you were just you were just magically rocked with twelve points of damage. Well, I'm, instead of uh, that, I'm just gonna real quick whip out my holy sim <laughs> and preserve life with my. Uh... Yeah, when you were reduced to zero hit points, you're uh, out, divine you focus. Drop one hit yeah, with so. my divine divinity thing. All right, so you get ten HP. Ten HP. Because it's five so. times my level. Rocking it back at a limber. Nice. We're good. We're good. Alright, so that Eamon, Guck, let's see what those guys got to say this yeah, time. Yeah, I'm gonna second win first. Just to, as a bonus action to get my health back up a little more. I'm going back up another 10 health. Okay. 21. Alright. And we're gonna slap that ugly. Bitch in the <laughs> uh, 16 to hit. Everybody in the campaign has to be wearing a cowboy. <laughs> Everyone should be. <laughs> I do love the fact that the hat fits it. That's the best part about that. That's right. I almost made a joke about yes. that earlier. Yeah. That's right. funny. And that is a... I think Gux's image of the night when the best. She staggers a step forward. She just hisses at you. You see her lean forward, and then she collapses. Oh, somebody roll a d10 for me, somebody. Give me that number. Three. Three? I, as I cut her down, I said, you fought bravely, but you also fought stupidly. Nice. My one-liners. <laughs> nice. You have a one-liner delivery oh, yeah. system. Nice. <laughs> All right, two cultists move forward. Uh, five, nine. Uh, both of them swing out at you and aren't able to hit you. I'm pathetic. I just flex on them as they start hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Tick, it's your turn. All right. See what you got. Uh, have either of these knights? They've been damaged, right? They have. And they look pretty ragged. Yeah. They look very ragged. Whatever one is, I don't know. I will. I'll attack whatever one is right. Whatever one is. Further to the right in my okay. field of vision. Sounds good. And yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him with my bow. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 17. That'll hit. Alright. Cool. <laughs> no. Six. Uh, your crossbow bolt uh, takes him right in the chest, lifts him slightly off, the, off his feet, and you see him just kind of collapse backward uh, as it. Uh, Crushes his ribcage. Finally. Woo! <laughs> nice. And then I'll give my bonus action over to my homunculus, and it's gonna try to snipe this guy with a in thirteen. Okay. Uh, he critically failed. Does that make it worse? Well, shit. Uh, it's Why just not? On a hit, <laughs> I just do a one d four plus proficiency. Okay. So am I doing two d fours? Or you know, let's let's roll it that way. Let's okay, get it done. Cool. Yeah. One and a one. Four. <laughs> Critical. <laughs> the little like force loop like rips out and you see his like skull kind of like 
light up, his hair jets out, and then he collapses to the ground. You see smoke bellow out of his ears. Smoke. Yeah! <laughs> Double kill! Exploded his mind. Let's run it. <laughs> uh, and that is the end of combat. Can Ooh. I... What is this uh, cult logo looking like now? Now that I'm up close. Uh, it appears to be a multi-pointed star um, cast in a uh, reddish light. <laughs> Is this an anti-Semitic thing? What's going on? What does right. that look like? Like a star that you see in the sky? A, a sun, perhaps? I'll go with sun, because apparently that conjures immediately a specific reference in your mind. I'd like to take the cloak off of the hag and put it in my bag. And then just keep the cloak. Okay. You, now, <laughs> why don't you just it? robe this, this, this desiccated old woman and see All right, I'd like robe. to look at this cauldron and see what it looked like they were brewing here. Um, percolates a little bit. You see uh, beans, some sorghum. Um, <laughs> Did you just eat lunch and I killed them? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, with some chunks of potato in there. Yeah, I'd like to scoop up a little bit and start eating over their dead bodies. Uh, you guys do whatever you want. <laughs> it's pleasantly but pretty heavily spiced. Uh, it's got some gumption to it. I like yeah. it. I like it. Anybody else want a bowl? <laughs> I'm gonna like kind of gather up the bodies and sit on them as a seat and just start eating. Jay just sent little Guck and he has human hands, <laughs> <laughs> and he's also at the smoon, not the saloon. <laughs> it's just Bojack what, horses. This, this cultist insignia does it look anything like the insignia left behind over at the orphanage I used to work, or is this just uh, something unrecognizable to me? Your memory's from the time are still fuzzy, so I'm going to ask you to roll a history check for me. And you can't see it anymore, it's in my bag. Because I knew what it was right away. Uh, history... Okay, no, that's just a four. Four? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a traumatic period of time in your life. Some mental block is just preventing you from remembering specific details of that. I shrug it off and I just go sit on the tallest body at the wrist. All right. so I can <laughs> scoop up after I scoop dinner. a bowl as well. After I finish my meal, I'd like to go through their pockets, see if they have anything cool. Can I go back while they're, they're you know, being themselves? You're gonna get and a creature. Go, I don't want to go like super close to it because I don't want to like barf, but I want to <laughs> try to ask it if it wants to like come and tell us if that was the thing that displaced it, and it can go back to its home. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, 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 you kind of just you do your your thing. You just kind of like work on playing charade. <laughs> <the creature. laughs> and eventually, does wind up following you. So, what did you roll for your uh, searchy search check? Nine. Nine. Uh, you find a few things here or there. Uh, some gold coins in, in the pockets. Total between the three of them, uh, five gold. <laughs> <clears throat> they seem to have been well-to-do cultists. Um, the swords themselves are fine, finely made, perfectly usable examples of scimitars. Um, the robes are of average quality. You do find uh, that beyond that, they had leather armor. I'll take the leather armor. Do I see any like holy symbols of their cult and who they were worshipping around? Uh, you don't, but we're going to have a medicine check for me. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, Gux kind of like stripping them down, and you, you're doing a cursory examination just to see if you knew, if you'd seen them around town, how they might have gotten here. Um, you recognize one of them has, uh, scarified a symbol into their arm. Oh. Do I recognize this? Symbol? You do. I do. Oh and man! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh, you are not gentle. You're just shaking the pants out like you're trying to remove them uh, off of a clothesline, and the body's just, just like swir- <laughs> shaking and, and, and gyrating, gyrating ever as you uh, manage to strip off the armor. Guys. No, I meant that. Oh, symbol. I know what it is, guys. These people from that cult that I told you about. The Order of the Crimson Sun. I'm having like PTSD thinking back to my time when they abducted me, and I'm just gonna <laughs> cut the symbol off of his arm and like take it with me. Yeah. 
I need it for later. I'm Tattooing just feeling like he did this in a British way. No roll, but it is I a. Just, it is a yet again a ghastly, a ghastly sight. You are not a tailor of any kind or a leather maker. No, no, so you just, just have a dripping thing of skin, and I'm like, <laughs> looks good. <laughs> You're oh, probably going to want to salt that at some point. Uh, around that point, uh, Will- Willow uh, comes back into the uh, cave. She's just there to see us with, mutilating with, these bodies. Watching you mutilate the co- corpse as the Atya wanders in. Does it seem pleased? <laughs> it jogged right happily. Why do I feel like it makes it all the noise? Yeah, it did. Like, like, it <laughs> but it actually smells like the worst fart. Times a million Every that you've time. ever experienced, but also just so much worse. Yeah. Um, but as you're you're observing it, like gesturing, it like trundles forward a couple steps and like whips its tentacle out and then throws one of the bodies in the air. And with the horrifying crunching sound, you watch it so, just slow it down, throw it down, and just it. maybe we should have brought it. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, cheering then, it on, but all that just stuff thing, coming to this the thing snack. couldn't beat these things, and it can. Throw the body in the air and catch it. It's, it's a corpse. Yeah. It's more along the lines that it's like. Okay, what are the what? Are it's the using its arms, like tentacles, just like right, throwing right, them right. down, just like uh, we brought, we got its the those puppet things from the Muppets. The oh, yeah. That, like yeah, like that. I got you. It's worth it. What do we do? Like um, it's just like distending its jaw and then sliding across the ground, just like <laughs> pulling it in like a, a shovel. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. I, you you don't do that to a lady. <laughs> 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 you just ask it. I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. Well, first of all, I'm going to be like, you can go to your home now. Also, in the most respectful way possible to it, I want to tell it. <laughs> one of my friends wants to know if it can have one of your eggs. <laughs> but please don't kill me. <laughs> it just simply responds, no. Okay. <laughs> Guck, we're not eating good today. <laughs> Damn. I was looking at all these pictures. I thought you were going to do some sort of magical, like, <laughs> break thing. No, I'm just going to eat it in the omelet. <laughs> I, need, I need long, flowing black hair. you got to take that helmet off. I was worried that GPT couldn't jump yeah. that long. Yeah. I was going to wait to talk about this after we're recording, but I don't like how mine looks like a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> she looks what? like some lolly shit. It's very it's like, odd. It's like an anime elf. I don't like it. But I like all the others. I love the Otyag. That's so cute. It's so cute. And I love Tink. I, I, I dig <laughs> my portrait. Is that supposed to be Eamon? He's this just a normal Eamon. looking human. Well, he was just in front of a church in the little picture. <laughs> He's just like a southern pastor, is the idea. Who is this? Is this um, a guy <laughs> oh, with a beard? That sea hag. <laughs> that's a sea hag, or is that guy? Um, that's the. Kaiba, please. <laughs> what did we just try to get out of it? Food or something? I wanted an egg. It's a oh. We were going to eat it. <laughs> you want to eat the egg and not raise it into another little guck? Okay, I, so... Theoretically, what? it knows it can go back to its home. We killed these random cult people. Um, should we... I you know, assume you, you, you said, said earlier this, when it was we were... like a sewage treatment animal thing so it probably so it's just covered in that. muck and grime its skin is oily but like this and thing cleans the water for us i i don't understand that. Sure. so the way they use them is so this is the clean water reservoir you don't want you don't the want sewage treatment plant running into your directly into your water so that's the situation here they're the creatures themselves are covered in grime and, and whatever just because of what they so do so we still need to get this thing out of here out of the water it yeah it did we're in a it came out she already got it out of there. Oh, okay. I am understanding that. Yeah, I thought we were like in this clean water place right now. We no, were like outside we of the down to like the oh, sewer okay. area. I got you. So we're good. We yeah. saved this shit. And we spared that thing's life. We might come back later when we're stronger and take it out because why not? <laughs> <laughs> True. We could use those tentacles for things. Also, eat it. Or the tide. Yeah, or the tide. How strong do we think this thing is? Then you could take it down. Not very. Those three were able to take it down. True. We took um, them out. They I took that out thing. of spell slots. All right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll reconvene. <laughs> I would like to cast reduce on None Guck. of this happened in character. On the uh, yuck? <laughs> on Guck. On Guck. Oh, you, okay. Uh, he's not with you. Right? If he's not, oh, no. Wait, that, not he's Guck. 
Uh, so he's an unwilling target. So I think you get a wisdom save. <laughs> My greatest stat. Nine. You turn into a chibi you. You are now pint size. <laughs> He's half his size and one eighth of his weight. Now I'm starting to think we might fight that thing. I grab it <laughs> like him up to the yeah. creature attempting to feed it to us. To it feeds it. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I'm Hercules is safe on the inside. <laughs> just gonna Hercules I can't on the feed inside. You to it, guys. I feel so bad. <laughs> you just start some like Lion King shit. <laughs> <Right. laughs> The circle of life. <laughs> Crunch. All right, I'm Crunch. guessing we're we're good to head out of here. I need Eamon to wear Guck in like a baby sling on the way back. Okay. Oh, and I still have this. But Lion other than King that, bond. I'm ready to normally send them. I'm ready to normally go back. <laughs> <laughs> Not killing things. I got a baby sling. All right. Nice. So a lion this cake would like, be nice. You're 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 making me upset at you because I'm remembering when he, we were playing Baldur's Gate the first time he always kills the owl bear. before he puts me in the sling now that I'm finally tiny enough I geyser myself out of this place <laughs> <laughs> you're so welcome you just, you just blast your way out of the cave oh, yeah. like laser beams out. oh yeah um, so you jetpack out uh, I give it a little we're blasting off again <laughs> yeah. yeah roll reflex yeah. or not reflex but uh, sorry dexterity save <laughs> Nine. Nine? Uh, you careen off of a few walls here or there, but you make your way out. You take on total four points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Out of 17. <laughs> Worth it. Did you make your way out? Okay. <laughs> You got to save your dignity. I got out of there a lot faster than you guys. <laughs> but so, still waited at the end. This feels like a good place to cut it for the guy, week, guys. Yeah. I would like to say that uh, thank you all for coming along. Um, this has been Shroud the Sun through the New School Project. You can reach us on all major socials. Looking forward to seeing you guys again next week. Bye. 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 Thank you guys for stopping by. This has been the Trail of the Sun through the New School Project. You can follow us on all major socials, and I hope you have a lovely day.